Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys and in this video we're gonna make the tedious task of mastering GRE vocabulary a little less scary and a lot more cheery. This series of video will help you master GRE vocabulary using pictures. Very much similar to the top rated vocabulary app the GREH word bot. It's the app which helps you master the most important GRE words in the quickest span of time. If you have not yet checked out, do go to the Play Store and download the app right away. Do subscribe to us to ensure that you don't miss out on any of these videos from this series. This week, we are kicking off with one of the greatest sitcoms that ever hit our TV screens. This show popularized certain words, the Yemen, the number seven, and of course, we were on a break. No doubt, we're talking about the TV series Friends. Staring a ragtag group of young 20-somethings in New York trying to navigate through adulthood and career. So how about we make GRE vocabulary fun and memorable using friends? Let's find out. First up, we have Monica Keller. The unrivaled mom of the group, Monica is over-anxious, highly detail-oriented and obsessed with cleanliness and order. Nothing ticks off the younger Geller sibling like a messy house. Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. <laughs> a great word to describe Monica would be pedantic, or someone who's excessively concerned with the minor details and overall perfection. Here is a usage for that matter of fact. With her obsession for health department level cleanliness, Monica Geller is frustratingly pedantic yet endearing at the same time. Next up, Ross Keller. Brother to Monica Geller and the dinosaur expert, he indeed is a caring, affectionate and a very silly person. Now, no doubt, among the six of them, Ross is the most childish and incapable of handling rejections. I'm fine. <laughs> An excellent GRE word for Ross could therefore be puerile or someone who is excessively childish and immature. Now just to give an example, it was out of sheer puerile spite that Ross Keller fired the qualified nanny just for being a maid. Next up, Chandler Bing or Miss Chandler Bong is Monica's husband, Ross's best friend and an overall goof. Chandler comes armed with a hilarious repartee no matter what the situation is and his acerbic wit makes him a great comic relief. After all, who can forget his famous catchphrase? I'm not great at the advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? <laughs> Chandler can be best described as facetious, which means to treat serious issues with a light and deliberately inappropriate humor. Just to give you an example, Chandler's facetious humor has been hailed by critics and viewers alike as one of the most refreshing aspects of the sitcom. Next up, Joey Tribbiani is known for his ability to eat anything and everything under the sun. And yes, including the truly awful shepherd spy or trifle as they say that Rachel tried to make for the Thanksgiving. It tastes like feet. <laughs> I like it. There's any food lying around, no matter how good or bad, you can count on Joey to complete it off. This would make Joey a gourmet or a person who enjoys eating a lot or often eats too much. Now the usage. For any serious gourmet like Joey Tribbiani, eating a pie off the floor is an essential experience. Now before the wave of Instagram influencers, there was Rachel Green with an era-defining Rachel cut and her elegant polished outfits that could easily belong on the runway. It was no wonder that she is offered a plum job in the luxury fashion house in Paris at the end of the series. Now for Rachel, the apt GRE word would be modish or a person who faithfully confirms to her latest trends and styles. Now for the usage, with her sleek dresses and modish heels, Rachel Green was the fashion icon of every girl growing up in the 90s. Last, but certainly not the least, is Phoebe Buffet, the eccentric yet supremely lovable singer of Melly Cat, Melly Cat, what are they feeding you? She is known to entertain her friends with her wild, slightly terrifying stories of her past. A highly individualistic person who is not afraid to speak her mind, 
Phoebe can be best described as a maverick or an unorthodox, independent-minded person. Now for usage, Phoebe is a maverick enough that she thought her mother's spirit resided in a little girl's cat. Now there you go guys, 6 GRE words for your favorite friends characters. We hope you enjoyed the very first episode of GRE words with TV series. Now if you want even more vocab practice but can't wait for the next episode, all you do is go and download the WordBot app from the link in the description and get started with GRE word learning right away. Until then, happy learning with GRE Edge.